everyone, so welcome back to our English grammar course. Today we are talking about the, it's a very tricky rule actually, the difference between the present perfect and present perfect continues. So, in my previous videos we talked about the difference between simple past and present perfect, you remember? We said that simple past is used for finished actions and the present perfect is used for actions that start in the past but actually continue in the present or anyway their consequences, their results are still present and expressed when I'm talking. Now, what is the difference now between present perfect and the present perfect continuous? Mm. Let's start with two sentences, two examples, and then we, we talk about them. So, first example, this is a present perfect sentence. So, I have washed my car and now it's clean. Okay, I have washed, have washed is a present perfect verb to have, the auxiliary verb to have, and the past part participle washed. Wash is a regular verb, so I just have to add ed at the end of my base form. I wash my car and now it's clean. So now I, I'm emphasizing the final result. Okay, the final result I've got. This is something, something I have concluded now. This is something I can show you. On the other side, I've been washing my car. This is a present perfect continuous and then I explain you also the way we, we can actually form it. I've been washing my car this afternoon, for, for example, and now I'm tired. Okay, now the focus isn't on the result, okay? Doesn't really matter if the, uh, the car is now completely clean or I washed only one part of my car, if uh, my uh, work of cleaning my car, car is concluded or not, I can show your result or not, this is not important, the focus is on the action, okay? The action in this case that was extremely tiring, it could be anything else. Let's make another example, if I, if I said mm, I have painted the ceiling, okay, the ceiling, and now it's, uh, it's pink, look, it's pink, it's not white anymore. Mm, this is quite a, a brave choice. Anyway, in this case I'm showing you the final result. My ceiling okay, has changed color. But if I said I have been painting the ceiling today, okay, I've been painting all day, I'm tired now, doesn't really matter whether the ceiling is completely painted or not, I have maybe no result to show you, okay, my focus is on the action, okay, and the result myself eventually of the action, okay. Another example, uh, I have studied all afternoon and now I know this grammar rule perfectly, okay, you can test me, okay, <laughs> this is a final result, the final result is that I know the rule. But if I say I have been studying all afternoon, ah, this is something probably even annoying in, in this case or, or, or tiring anyway, but I, I don't, I, I, I'm not saying now whether I have concluded something or not, okay, this is not important, the, the accent, the focus is on the fact that I have been studying, okay, this is the point. So basically, the general rule is that the present perfect is used when I have a final result, something that I have really concluded, okay? Why? The present perfect continuous is used for actions uh, which are, I am emphasizing, okay? And it doesn't really matter uh, if I've got a final result which is concluded or not but the focus, the, the emphasis is on the action itself. It's not always an annoying action. Now, my examples were, were all about uh, something tiring or stuff. Uh, for example, I could say I've been traveling, okay, around Europe, okay, all this 
past this this this, this, this uh, months or anything and uh, in this case i'm emphasizing the fact that i have been traveling but this is something positive it isn't something annoying or something negative i'm just emphasizing okay the extraordinary fact that i've been tra traveling now now this is the grammar rule this is what grammar books would probably tell you then in real life things are a bit different okay you can find one or the other depending on the intention of the speaker or depending on the fact that they want to be quicker maybe they use the present perfect or they want to be more elegant and maybe they use the present perfect continuous so the grammar rule is the official <laughs> way to use one or the other but probably you'll find it also in other uh, contexts or in other, or used in other ways okay but if you have to uh, make an exercise or something now you know the difference now just one more thing how do we form them okay we already know how we can form the present perfect it was with the verb the auxiliary verb to have pay attention italian people german people uh, normally we have auxiliary to have or to be sometimes in english it's always have okay and the past participle which is uh, for regular verbs just uh, uh, the base form and ed okay and for irregular verbs it's the third uh, calm it's the third uh, form of our tab okay of irregular verbs now the present perfect continues it's just a continuous form exactly as the present continues do you remember how we form the present continuous it was with the verb to be okay and the ing form the gerund this is exactly the same but we have to conjugate the verb to be it's not a present anymore in this case it's a present perfect so this is the present perfect of the verb to be which is have been or has been obviously if it is a, a third person singular and again the ink form the ink form the gerund is always the same we, ne we never change that okay so together verb to be and ink okay are the way we form a continuous form in this case the verb to be is um, the present perfect so it's have been or has been and the ink form as in this case I have been washing this is the gerund okay fine if you have any question please ask me and write me in the comments below and please subscribe my channel see you soon again with english grammar bye